Hello everyone, this is Damon with Easy Green Screen, and in this tutorial I'm going to be discussing the spill correction adjustments. Right now we have a single mask extraction and the spill correction is set to the default settings. When you extract, Easy Green Screen is going to auto detect the spill correction opacity that it thinks it needs to use, and the opacity is really determined by the brightness of the green screen itself and the color of the green screen that really determines the opacity that this needs to be and the auto detection usually does pretty good. The spill color range this is not the intensity that the spill correction is being applied this is the range of colors in the foreground that the spill correction is targeting. So this um, easy green screen does not auto detect and the reason for that is because these numbers are more predictable on how they will affect the image and these really need set based on the color of the person's hair and the color of clothing that they wear and usually the default values of 75 and 40 work pretty well and I'm just going to demonstrate here first I'm going to turn the spill correction opacity all the way up to 100% and you see that when we do that, the edge of the hair starts turning a little pink. That's because we're blending too much magenta back into that spill area. And so we're, we are overcorrecting. And if you look closely at the edge of the jeans, you can see where we are applying a little bit of spill correction on the edge. And it's shifting that color unnaturally as well. So that's going to lead into the next part of this discussion and that is the spill color range. Now this is the range of colors that the spill correction is being applied. I'm going to turn the spill correction opacity back to where it auto detected at 61 and then I'm going to now show you that there is some spill correction on these jeans we see and the spill color range cools is what we'll want to adjust to address that. And this sets the range of color that the spill correction is targeting. So if I turn that up to 60, you see that that spill in the jeans goes away because now Easy Green Screen is targeting a wider range of blues and into the, or actually more of the cyan colors because what happens when green mixes with blue is you get a cyan. And if I turn this spill color range all the way down, you can see that you have kind of a gradient of color that mixes into the jeans and the jeans turn from a blue to a cyan color. If we go too high on this you can see that now we are targeting too broad of a range of colors so now we are shifting the color of the entire blue jeans. And as you can see when we change that we are not affecting anything else because that's just the range of colors that's being targeted by the spill correction. So I'm going to set this back to 60 where it looks pretty good on the spill correction. Now I'm going to go and do the same thing with the spill color range warms. Now with blonde or golden blonde hair here, a value of 75 is um, pretty much the optimum value for the hair. And this value of 75 works for pretty much all hair colors so that always works really well. What happens is if you increase this up to 100 what you'll see is we've shifted the color in all of the hair because now we are targeting too broad of a range of colors. So if you're wondering what you need to adjust if you see too much or too little spill correction in your image, if you're seeing where the entire hair is being shifted, then your spill color range warms is what is causing that. If you see just the edge of the hair that's being overcorrected, that's typically your spill correction opacity. Now hopefully Easy Green Screen gets this pretty accurate and with version 5 this is actually very accurate how it calculates this and usually the hair looks really good. 
the problem you can run into though is with um, yellow clothing the values needed um, for golden blonde hair such as this up at 75 those can actually shift your yellow clothing so with um, easy green screen 5 there's this preserve yellow clothing button and there's no yellow clothing in this image I'm going to open one up in a minute that's got yellow clothing but I'll just show you here if I click this button the only thing that does is it shifts this value here down to 45 I added that button because a lot of people ask what to do with yellow clothing now the only fix for yellow clothing on the spill so those don't, don't get shifted is to shift the range of colors that the spill correction is targeting well what happens with um, blonde hair um, your green screen has a hue of 120 the blonde hair typically has a hue of around 30 when you mix a hue of 120 and a hue of 30 you get a gradient effect where the color starts shifting from a hue of 30 up to 120 and that passes through the yellow tones and yellow has a hue of 60 and so on that very edge where that spill is causing the hair to pass through those yellow tones you see if we turn the preserve um, or the spill color range warms down we are not correcting that tonal range so you see some of this fringing and so what we've done with easy green screen 5 when that becomes a problem we've got a way in dual mask to fix that really easily which I'm going to show in the next video.